Neil, two days down, how's it gone so far? Uh, been very busy actually. Um, you know, it's um, you know, I think when you're coming in any job, it's uh, it can be a little bit daunting at first. But um, I must say, because I'm familiar with the club and everything, it's probably a smoother you know transition than than somebody who comes comes in and doesn't know anything about the club. So it's yeah, it's been uh, positive and um, but like I said, it's been very busy. How have you got about approaching the first few days? Have you had one-to-one -one meetings with the players? Have you had a group chat all together? I think uh, the first thing you have to do with any club, you've, you've got to get everybody together and, and have a, an introduction. You don't want to speak for too long, but you, you want to just uh, spell out what you want to do and uh, what you expect. And then we've managed to train yesterday and I've, I've spoke to a few players individually. Um, I will get to speak to everybody because I think it's important um, but and then we've trained again today but we've we've been able to have a, another meeting you don't want to be giving the players too much too much information and you know sort of filling the brains with too many things but um, it's been a, a positive couple of games but all anybody's interested in is what happens on the pitch yeah how long will it take for you and your staff to assess the squad and assess the quality that you're inheriting I think um, you want a, a period of time to look at everybody. I've obviously, you know, I know some of the players. I've seen some of the younger players as well. Um, you speak to people about players, but you can, you can only, it's only, for me, it's all about what they're going to do now. Not what they've done in the past, not what they used to be like. It's just going to be what I see from now on. And obviously I, I have to pick a team for tomorrow. But certainly, then it'll, everybody's got a chance, and it'll be it'll be down to to what they do in training and in the games. But um, I, I don't have any favourites um, because I, you know, I, di I didn't sign the players, and uh, I can look at everything with a fresh pair of eyes. That said, then, how do you go about picking your starting eleven for a first game? What do you have to look at? Just basically the two training sessions that you had. I've got to look at the previous games. I've got to look at um, the game the other night, which I was able to see some people play. A training session yesterday where we've had a practice game. Obviously, you're looking at players' history and records as well, which you have to. You, you're not judging them go on on going on what they've done in the past, but you have to. Obviously, there's a few players that um, I don't know a lot of, about, so I have to look at and take some read up about them and um, speak to people about them. But I had a, a basic sort of, I wouldn't say the full team, but I, I, I probably knew straight away um, several of the players that would be playing. What can you tell us about your management team who you're bringing in with you and those who you're going to be working with? Well, uh, I've worked with uh, Lee Nogan for a number of years. He was a player um, I played with at Darlington in my career. I uh, didn't know him before then, but um, when I got into the management, um, at first I worked with um, Trevor Staunton, who unfortunately died. Um, he was an old ex-player, played for. Well, he, stopped, he was at Liverpool and Chester. Uh, wonderful man, um, and it was really sad um, occasion when he when he died because he was very close to Trevor. But then. Lee came in and he's been my assistant ever since in, in the time of being in football. So when you get a job, you, you'd like to have somebody that you know and that you trust. So uh, in Lee, I've, I've got that. But I also felt it is a big job, this. Uh, it's a big club. There's a lot of players here. Um, it, you, you need more stuff than that. And, and I wanted to bring in somebody who's a good coach but also as manager as well, who's not a shrink and violet in terms of being a character. And that's why I brought in Gary Brabham because I know him through um, through my football career. He actually came for a trial at Portville when I was a player. Uh, I mean, he looked like a, didn't look like a player, but he, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but he, he ended up having a, you know, a good career, but um, he's got a lot of experience in management and he's managed some, some big clubs. So he's, He's invaluable in, in, in terms of, of the staff, but um, he's a good coach, first and foremost. 
and he'll do a lot of good work with the players. Well, I'm sure all three of you are looking forward to the first game, but you in particular, given the reception that you've had off the supporters, how much are you looking forward to stepping back outside there? To, well, to be perfectly honest, uh, all I'm thinking about is how the players are going to do. I mean, uh, uh, of course, it's uh, uh, you know it's lovely to be on the pitch yesterday. It does bring back a lot of memories, but I'm afraid we're all too long in the tooth to <laughs> to uh, you know football. It's not about sentiment, and people are will judge me just like they they would any other manager. Um, we can't live in the past. I certainly don't live in the past. I enjoyed my my time as a player, but um, I want to get results now as a manager. And uh, yeah, it's uh, you know it was always going to be a, a good occasion to come back and have your first game. But um, I'm I'm only conscious of what the players are going to do on the pitch. What kind of a game are you expecting? Um, watched I've watched uh, Grimsby play. Um, they're a strong team. Um, they're well organised. Um, they can be direct at times, but um, they, they've got some good players, and it will, it will be a tough test. I mean, you have to say that we've not won a game at home in the in the league. Um, we've lost eight out of the last ten games. Um, you know, you could get. Um, any manager to come in, you're not going to magic one. Uh, if it was that easy, I mean, it's it, it's not. We're in a difficult, in a in a really difficult position, in a difficult time, and confidence is is low at the moment at the club. So we've got to try and we've certainly got to try and um, you know get back to to winning ways, which which is which will be difficult. But uh, when we when we do get that a win, then we've got to try and build on that, and you've got to take small steps, but. Um, I'm really conscious of the fact that the players must represent the supporters in the area. I think it's massive that I've I drove in today. I drove round in Burslem. I went to um, uh, a friend of mine from the past when I played to see if his garage was still there, and it, and it was. And uh, I got the a better welcome from him than I've had for <laughs> for years off anyone. And uh, you know, there's good people connected with this club, good people who support the club, and I, and I really want to, to do well for them. Um, and I want the players to, to put some pride um, in their performances and represent, you know, them on the pitch. Um, it's, all, it's all good and well saying the right things, but I am here for the right reasons, and I, and I, and I, I really want to do well, and I want the players to to really give their all. It's a minimum that you can expect. It would be wrong to sit here and start saying, you know, we can do this and we can do that because it clearly shows that it's not working. And um, the one thing I've, I've learned in management, it doesn't matter if you're managing in the bottom non-league or if you're managing in the Premier League, it's all about what players you've got on the pitch. And the recruitment of players is the most important part of, of any manager's job because if you've got good players, um, you win football matches. So it's down down to the players. Um, I can't assess what they've been like um, this season or, or only to say results speak for themselves. Um, and when you sat talking to me in a, after a few games, I'll have a far better perspective of um, you know of the playing staff.